welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on how i do a keratin treatment at home so before we start just have to mention i'm not a professional but if you're subscribed to my channel you probably know i really like to experiment with my hair sometimes it turns out fine sometimes it doesn't I want to say this time it turned out pretty good so um what is a keratin treatment so keratin is a protein that you find in your hair but with washing your hair um, using heat bleaching color all of that it damages the hair and you lose some of that protein so a keratin treatment is basically gonna chemically add some keratin in your hair some people say a keratin treatment is damaging because you do have to seal the keratin with a flat iron but for me, I was stuck in a vicious circle. I had to use heat on my hair because it looked horrible when I would just let it air dry. And it would always break off at the end. So it was not really growing. Like my hair was growing, but it was always breaking off at the end. So it's like I was never going to go back to good hair, you know. Um, so a keratin treatment also is not a conditioning treatment. Um, it's not going to hydrate the hair. It's just going to fill it with protein. So if you notice that your hair when it's wet it's super super stretchy and it just breaks off it's probably because you're lacking protein now my hair has never lacked protein i mean maybe it did a little bit but never dramatic but never dramatically drastically my hair never lacked so much protein um since i started bleaching my hair my hair has always been dry i have dry hair naturally like i don't have oily skin i have dry skin so i also have dry hair um so a keratin treatment is not going to help with that you still have to take care of your hair and hydrate it and stuff but it will fill it with protein which is quite amazing um so you can do this if your hair is super damaged like mine online lots of people say not to do it because it's going to damage your hair more but i have to use way less heat on my hair now so for me it was a really good thing um and it's also great if you have naturally really frizzy hair. If your hair is super curly and frizzy, um, a lot of times your hair might uh, lack a bit of protein. So it could be great uh, to do that. My hair naturally, when my hair is super healthy, I don't think I would need a keratin treatment. But since I do color it because of my gray hair and stuff, I think even... Um, I think I would benefit from a keratin treatment, let's say if my hair was healthy, but in the winter. Because where I live, it gets pretty cold and my hair is a bit more frizzy, you know. I really encourage you to do your research on this because it's a, you know, it's a chemical treatment. So definitely do your own research. I'm so happy I did it. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Um, of course, my hair is not back to 100% healthy, but it's so, 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 so much better. Also, keratin treatment is cumulative so every time you do it um it's just gonna be even better and better but you can have too much protein in your hair so just just be careful because you don't want to overdo it because then your hair is going to be super stiff um okay so the keratin treatment i got is from well i got this from amazon um it's the amazon list keratin treatment it looks like that it was 78 dollars um there was some cheaper alternatives and i got this one because it is marketed as formaldehyde free now lots of people say keratin treatments are really bad for you because they they produce formaldehyde first of all it's not an ingredient from the research i've done it's not an ingredient it's more of a gas so when you flat iron your hair the fumes that is the formaldehyde it's a couple ingredients that when when you use heat it produces a gas which is really bad for you if you smell this too much you know it can give you um respiratory problems it sounds super scary but <laughs> if you do keratin treatment only once in a while in a super ventilated area i think you're gonna be fine so yeah i got the i spent more money on this one because it was marketed as formaldehyde free but then after doing my research i realized that a keratin treatment is is, is never really gonna be formaldehyde free so I next time I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna buy a cheaper one there was some that were like $50 they were not marketed as formaldehyde free but none of them really are you know I will list this one down below but I will also list other alternatives down below I will leave Canadian links and US links um so yeah I feel like that's all I have to say oh one more thing um a lot of people talk about brazilian blowouts brazilian blowout is just a brand uh, but a brazilian blowout is a keratin treatment if you're interested uh to know how i did this keratin treatment at home then keep on watching okay, so i'm finally getting ready to do my keratin treatment but first i'm just gonna brush my hair um i haven't washed my hair in a week it's because i knew i wanted to do this treatment and i just didn't have time this weekend but also like my hair doesn't get oily 
It looks disgusting because it's dry. But my hair like doesn't really get oily, which is why my hair is freaking dry. I would recommend to brush your hair uh, first before going in the shower because the first step of this keratin treatment is, well, first of all, it comes with gloves. First step is you have to wash your hair twice with a clarifying shampoo to get rid of all the residue in your hair. So I'm gonna go do that in the shower, wash my hair twice, no conditioner, no conditioner, it's gonna be hard. So yeah, just make sure your hair is well brushed before you get in the shower so i'm gonna go do that and i will be back okay so i'm out of the shower so my hair feels great here actually like it's really soft but here since i wasn't able to use like any conditioner or anything um it feels really fragile and then number two use a hair dryer and hands to dry to about 85 percent dry so i'm actually just gonna wait a little bit i have some laundry to do and stuff so I'll do that and then I'll like blow dry in maybe like 30 minutes. So I forgot to mention the other products that came in the set. So number two is of course the Brazilian smoothing treatment. Then the third product you have is the intensive repair mask that I'm gonna be using um, after. Okay, so I feel like it's been maybe like an hour or two. The thing is my hair doesn't dry evenly everywhere. So as you can see, like the very ends are pretty dry and the roots are also pretty dry but like all my midsection is still like pretty wet okay hi guys so today is actually the next day um, I didn't do it yesterday just because I didn't have any natural lighting anymore and I was like you know I just didn't feel like doing it yesterday so um, yeah I would not recommend like sleeping on your hair if your hair is slightly oily or virgin my hair is stripped of like everything you know if you have like residue on your hair the treatment won't work as well but me like this is dry like there's nothing to it I have all my windows open um, you have to you know have windows open it's cold outside so I'm gonna be freezing I just went in the shower so my hair is a little wet um, but not like super super wet. I'm gonna have to do this quickly because I'm going to the mall with my friend in two hours. The step four is says to section the hair in six sections. I don't have six hair clips, so I'm not gonna do that. And then do one section at a time, apply the product and blow dry. How the Brazilian, this is the number two. I'm just using the same sort of bowls I use for when I dye my hair and a little brush like this. It looks like that i'm also gonna take a little comb like this to remove the excess product i'm just gonna start with a small section like this and i really really hope i'm gonna have enough for all my hair so it says not to oversaturate the hair um, And gently comb because my hair is damaged so you don't want to comb too um, too rough okay so I'm gonna do the whole bottom layer and then I'll blow dry I really want to get the little baby hairs right here because this is one of the most annoying parts <laughs> so I, I'm gonna make sure I get those my hair this much I've had to open up the tube because 
like this is not enough i just opened up the tube there's a lot more in there um the scent is not too strong but it definitely smells chemically it says there's no formaldehyde but honestly like my cats are not in my room like i won't want them smelling this i didn't really do my roots because clearly don't have enough product for that okay now i'm gonna quickly blow dry Like I really don't know if I have to wait until it's completely dry to flat iron because I feel like the people didn't really do that Can you hear that? I'm a little confused, I don't know If I should wait for the hair to be completely dry, but there's a bunch of product on it, so I feel like. Okay, so I think the thing is, this is too saturated, so. Um, yeah, I already did this part. I think it still feels like, like there's some product on it, but I think it's my fault because I oversaturated it. This feels much better. There was this product on it. Okay, I'm not too too far. I'm almost done. I mean, almost done. My hair feels really like gunky. I mean, you know, like there, there's some product on it. Now my iron is at 360. And it's fine. But I can tell this is gonna make my hair feel amazing because like when it, of course there's like product on it so it looks gunky as I said, I don't know if that's a word but usually even if I straighten my hair it looks frizzy, it looks my strands of hair don't look good you know, it looks all broken and stuff and now like my hair is dry and it looks like there's no like flyaway like of course I know the product is still in there I feel like this will fix the porosity of my hair and so when I'm gonna do my color it's gonna be way more even and it's gonna turn out how it's supposed you know now with this set of uh, curtain it says you actually have to wash your hair after which you know what I understand why because the hair doesn't feel that nice other people you know other keratin treatments I've seen online like you can't get your hair wet for like 72 hours I just I guess it depends okay I'm done I did this in two hours but honestly this thing cannot be good for you the smell it like gets in your no I don't know it's horrible yes. I'm gonna go now and I will see you back later I use the number three which is the intensive repair mask now after reading the ingredients it's basically a it's basically a, a mask filled well a treatment filled with protein which is good I'm definitely going to use this again um, I still have lots left so yeah this is just like a treatment um, and when I was in the shower I was trying to like figure out if my hair felt any stronger which it did but it was not like drastically but i have to remember that my hair is bleached and of course bleached hair is going to feel a little differently you can have healthy bleached i mean you know you can have like healthy bleached hair but it's definitely not going to feel like virgin hair you know so when i got out of the shower i wanted to let my hair air dry a little bit to see how it was going to be but I decided to blow dry a little bit. Now, before I did my keratin treatment, my hair would take hours and hours to dry. Like, I couldn't just decide to wash my hair and then 
blow dry it style it and then go out it would take me hours i would have to let it air dry a little bit and then i would have to blow dry it it was frizzy um my hair never looked good and when i started blow drying it took like five minutes to blow dry my hair which i haven't been able to do that in months like it, it was crazy i just blow dry my hair i went to bed and when i woke up my hair felt really really good of course i still have some split ends um even you can see now i straightened my hair yesterday and i washed it today is tuesday and i washed my hair on sunday so i straightened it yesterday um so yeah So you can see that I do have a little bit of split ends because this area was so 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 damaged. This, all this area was damaged, but it was not like super damaged. So this area looks fabulous. Like there's no like split end. It actually looks like when all my hair is straight. I have a mirror here. When all my hair is straight, like there's no flyaway in anything. It, it looks really really good. And then at the bottom, yes, I do still have some split ends, but it's not that bad. Like I can leave the house, like I can just let my hair air dry, and leave the house. Like I was not able to do that before. So I was always wearing extensions because my hair was so frizzy that, like it didn't. I I wouldn't really wear it like that because I was really insecure actually about my hair. I didn't want to film any like hair styling videos, any hair care routine. I didn't want to film that because I was so insecure about my hair. When my, my hair was wet, I was really insecure about it, which I've never been insecure about my hair, but I was. I don't like my haircut though because like I feel like when you have this length of hair, it looks much better if it's all the same length. But I'm trying to not cut my hair so much. Also, I feel like I could have saved my hair. Uh, last haircut I got was super, super short and I feel like I really didn't need that if I would have done a keratin treatment. I would have saved the length of my hair. Um, so before, when I would just go like this, all my little hair at the end would break off and it was horrible. Now it doesn't break off so much. So I feel like my hair is finally going to be able to get longer because it's not constantly breaking at the end. It's been a couple weeks and you know the treatment is still doing great. Um, my color looks very yellow. My hair looks super super yellow because I haven't been able to color my hair yet. Well, I could now. Um, so basically when you do the treatment, you have to wait two to three weeks before you add any color. And then I think it's one month for highlights or bleach. Um, and then if you want to do your color before, it's actually really good to do it before because then the keratin and the treatment will seal your color and it's going to last so much longer. Um, and then the highlights, it's also before better to do before so usually keratin treatment you would get done at a salon it's supposed to last between three to six months depending on how you take care of it this one it says for four months i think um so we will see i don't i doubt mine is gonna last that long um especially on the i don't know maybe maybe it'll last to care for your keratin treatment you have to use a sulfate free shampoo um, so the one I use is from L'Oreal. This is the conditioner, but the shampoo is in the shower. Um, it's the Eversleek sulfate-free keratin carrying uh, shampoo. But as I said, this is the conditioner. So this has no harsh salts and no sulfate. Um, sulfate is gonna, well, sulfate is not good for your hair in general, but it's definitely gonna strip the keratin treatment much faster. So definitely use something that is sulfate free and like this is from the drugstore which is great so i've been using that and then i've actually been using this conditioner it's from kerastas it's the nutritive fondant magistral basically this is a uh, conditioner that has lots of protein in it um i've also used the shampoo like this uh, a little while ago but my hair was lacking so much protein that it helped my hair a little bit but not enough you know if your hair is uh, lacking slightly protein I would suggest suggest this line from Castas but if you need like something intensive I would do a keratin treatment but I've been using this conditioner I will have a um, how you call it hair care routine coming up very soon I'm really happy now with my hair care routine um, also have to mention a keratin treatment is not a straightening treatment it's not permanent it's not like the uh, Japanese straightening that actually breaks the bond in your hair and like I feel like I do a lot of research yeah I'm pretty good not to brag but I feel like I'm pretty good anyways <laughs> a keratin treatment is only gonna um, it's not relaxer it's just gonna defrizz your hair so my hair used to be curly wavy when i was younger when my hair was virgin but with all the damage hair dye and stuff my hair is not really wavy anymore especially not since i bleached it um 
you know, hopefully I'll get some texture back when my hair gets healthier. Um, but my hair had never had trouble holding a curl. I feel like at first when I did the treatment, my hair definitely had a bit of trouble holding a curl. Like I would curl my hair, I would go to bed, next I would wake up, my hair was straight. Um, but now it's been a couple weeks, I feel like now my hair can hold a curl. But if I let it air dry, it's definitely straight. Um, but if you have curly hair, it's not, it's not a straightening treatment it's not relaxer so you're probably still gonna have a bit of uh, movement in your hair just depending on how I mean I guess how damaged your hair is and everything so the reason why I feel like my color was always turning out so much darker uh, and I had so much trouble getting like a good blonde is because I think my hair was like empty it was just so empty so my hair was would just like suck up all the color um, my color would always turn out really nice like here because this hair was not as damaged so even now like my blonde up here looks pretty good but here it sort of has like an orangey greenish tint still but now since my hair is filled with protein i feel like my color is going to turn out so much better because my hair is not going to su suck up all the product you know so yeah if your blonde hair is always turning green no matter what you do like my color looks so much better than it did like a couple months ago but i can still see that you know it could look a lot better here and i think it was because my hair was lacking protein also i can go like a week now i go a week without washing my hair and i just brush my hair every day and my hair looks so good like before i would go to bed i would wake up my hair would be like so crunchy now my hair as i've said is not oily it's dry i have naturally dry hair which you know i'm trying to i'm trying to help the situation but i have naturally dry hair so after like five days my hair was not oily i didn't really need to wash it because it was oily but it was all crunchy because it was so dry and now i go to bed i wake up my hair still looks good like it's not all crunchy crunchy so honestly it really changed my life i feel so much better now also i don't need to put in as many extensions in my hair because my hair blends so much better now you know what i mean like before you could tell i was wearing extensions because my hair was so like damaged and poofy and like frizzy uh, but now, you know, I can wear my hair like this, even though I don't really like my haircut. Um, I can wear my hair short, but with my extensions, like my hair blends so much better now. So I feel like now I really said everything. Would I do this again? 100%. Um, I don't feel like it's damaging on your hair. It smells terrible, so make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. Uh, make sure you take care of your hair with uh, sulfate-free shampoo. It's not a conditioning treatment still condition your hair it's not a straightening treatment so if your hair is super curly it should not straighten your hair uh, it's not permanent the keratin is just gonna fade naturally a Japanese straightening you definitely will get like the the roots and you'll have to do the roots but with this it's supposed to fade sort of evenly it's supposed to fade evenly but I'm pretty sure the more you do it, like you won't need to do the bottom anymore. I don't know. So I will definitely do this again and I will do an update when I do. Um, so hopefully this is going to last uh, a few months. But honestly, when I first did this, I was like, you know, if it lasts just for a month, I'm going to be happy. And so far it's been like two, three weeks. Um, and I'm really, really happy. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will answer you know, I'm not a professional, but I feel like I've done lots of research and I feel I feel pretty knowledgeable, you know? And I feel like I'm never going to a hair, just hair salon ever again in my life. I feel like now I can do everything myself. <laughs> I figured it out. Anyways, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, you can also like this video. I will now do a lot of hair styling videos. Now that I'm happy with my hair, I will do lots of styling videos, hair care routine and everything. That will all be coming up very soon. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Chloe's Adore, And I will see you very soon in a new video. Bye!